Actually, sexual exploitation is somebody having sex or using, um, getting gratification, sexual gratification without your knowledge or you not benefiting, only the person benefiting. So basically, that's what we can say about sexual exploitation. Mostly with sexual exploitation, we see the person's behavior change. Um, maybe example in the office, a boss and maybe a secretary. Before you, maybe there is that um, work relationship between them, but it will get to a time the person will not be able to give the necessary respect to the to the boss or what the boss, if the, the subordinate does not agree, maybe they will be penalized unnecessarily. And it will come to our, um, our community. Um, maybe some, a teacher can exploit, um, exploit the, the students. And when it happens, the student cannot concentrate. But when um, there is a rape that happens or something happens, um, if the person is examined, in the hospital, it can also be identified as sexual exploitation. As I said, if um, the person in the office or the working environment, the person may not concentrate, the person may not have, cannot meet his or her targets. And when we are talking about the sexual exploitation, it's not only about girls or women. Everybody can be exploited. And um, in the home sector, the, the, the victim will not be able to work well or will not be able, will not be happy to um, do their daily activities. And if it's at school, the person cannot concentrate on their work that they do. So it's have psychological effects on them. So with the awareness, I think we can start bit by bit. Because if we, so in our, as we've come here, as WODA has, uh, uh, is in front of what we are doing, uh, as individuals, wherever we find ourselves, uh, at our workplaces, in the school, at churches, wherever we find ourselves, we can be sharing the, the, the ideas or can be preaching the gospel, in quotes, of what is going on or what we have heard and the things that are happening in our communities, in our societies, in our workplaces, so that gradually, one, one, if each each one of us do something one after the other. I think we can get to a better end. Okay, thank you very much. So what we can do is that, uh, as I said, individually, one after the other, we can be doing. And those, um, the project that Buddha is doing is My Body Matters. So as a woman, no matter what um, you wear, or wherever you get to, somebody should not take advantage of you. And we have the voice to talk as the project um, is saying that casa so we should talk about whatever that someone is doing to us that we don't like we have different facilities like um, the police we can report to the police station the health facility is also there as we are dealing with youth and then adolescents like the hospital we have the adolescent unit that the person can just walk in there are trained counselors around nurses doctors um, midwives are around to help so whatever somebody is getting, we have the mental health unit as well. So whatever somebody is, is going through, you can draw closer to us. And if you are not if, even able to help, we can um, direct you to the right place for you to get a help so that we are all safe and protected. Who is your name? I'm Juliet Enyonam Agbali.